gave her a golf cart oh. and so like my dad drove her around but then she didn't get a golf cart but and no. it, it's like they don't even have like scooters electric yeah. scooters but she was trooper she walked a good bit nice. or like people gave her rides when they could so they were super nice that's awesome we ready okay amazing all right here is cheyenne knight after her final round at the ascendant lpga i told you just a few minutes ago that this is another uh, tournament scoring record same eight under that you shot last year yeah um, what does it mean to you to just be able to do that here on on your home course yeah it was great um to kind of play well today yesterday i didn't have any birdies and today I had eight um it was a good round of golf. Um, I think it definitely helped um, it not being very windy today compared to the other days. And I mean, I was second off the back nine. So um, it was nice to play kind of the holes without the wind. And cause the last few days it's been really windy, which kind of like reflects the scores. And um, yeah, yesterday I wasn't hitting a lot of greens and today I hit, hit a good amount and the greens are so small. So if you hit the green, you're gonna have like a realistic birdie opportunity. So that's kind of what happened today. Mm -hmm. Coming off of around yesterday, I know you said you weren't just feeling great this morning. Um, what does it, what kind of mental willpower does it have <laughs> take to just come out and put together a round like that? You know, I think it was a lot of like, um, yeah, I wasn't feeling like great this morning. It's just, um, it's been, I feel like I'm just a little bit tired, just like since Solheim, just kind of been going. But kind of once I teed off, I was like, all right, you got 18 more holes and then I get a break because I'm not playing till Malaysia. So just told myself to enjoy it and kind of put things into perspective. Like my family's out here watching and kind of get out of my own way a little bit. Speaking of your family, um, I know grandma's out here, um, your boyfriend's out here. Um, what does it mean to you to have just the support of not only your family, but also your fellow club members here at Old American? Yeah, everyone's been so nice. The volunteers, um, yeah, the members, the fans just like kind of just, you know, tell me they remember me from 2019 and just are so nice and supportive and cheering me on. And it was really special to have like my family members here. Uh, my grandma hasn't seen me play since 2019 and her getting to see some of the round today and um, waved at her after like I made a birdie. Um, and yeah, having just like all my friends and family here, one of my old uh, college teammates from Alabama came and so it was really nice to see her. So yeah, just a lot of people and it takes a village. Yeah, I don't get to see my family that much. You know, mm -hmm. you spend so much time on the road. So for them to come to a golf tournament and get to see me just a little bit means a lot. Mm -hmm. Last question, if you could just take me through some of maybe the top shots, top birdies of the day today, moments that really stuck out. Yeah, on, I started on 10 and on 10 I made like a 20 footer for birdie. Um, and then I birdied 16, 17 and 18. On 18 I hit it to about five feet. And then, um, yeah, uh, on eight, my second to last hole, I hit it about a foot. And then on nine, I made like a good like 10, 12 footer for birdie. So yeah, just kind of sprinkled them in there. And um, yeah, it was nice to get it rolling today. Awesome. Thank you, Cheyenne. Thank you.